right, we're back. Spring. <laughs> there he is. Spring might be right around the corner, but the flu has gotten, not gotten the memo. The flu has gotten to stick around a little bit. A second wave of the flu out there. Colds, coughs, they will not go away. They are lingering. Here to tell us how to get through all of it, Dr. Mike Voroshovsky. We got it. Good. It's always a challenge for us. It is a challenge. Um, it is a challenge. First question is, do you tailor those scrubs? I mean, you have to, right? No. No, come on. No, come on. Look, come on. honest answer, I used to tailor my scrubs, but then I found... You filled them in. That, 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 yeah, I started going to the gym, I guess. I well, mean... It's perfect. Okay. <laughs> Now to business. Right. Tell us about the flu. Why yeah. won't it leave? Well, because the flu likes to stick around, and there's going to be a second wave of a different strain. So we have to still get our flu shots. Do we have to get, like, a booster flu no, shot? No, no. we already got if our If you flu got shots. your flu shot, you're going to be safe. This one is working about 45%, which sounds not great, but is actually awesome. Okay. Because we're having a mild flu season, and if you get these bad boys every year consecutively, they're going to work even better. Mm -hmm. And even if you are to get the flu, it's going to be a milder case, less okay. complications. Got it. So you have to get your flu shot. Okay. okay. Next. Do so you have a six pack? <laughs> Not right now, it's on vacation, but it's going to come back soon, I hope. All right. So next, if you are unlucky enough to get the flu, you can take an antiviral medication that your doctor can prescribe. Two options. You have Tamiflu here, Zyfluza here. They work a little bit differently. One is one time dosing. Tamiflu is five, time, five days in a row. Mm. Okay. Is one more effective than the other? Um, they work slightly differently depending on what you're trying to achieve. What I like about Tamiflu, you could actually take it to prevent catching the flu oh. if someone in your house has it. And how it. contagious oh. is all this? Oh, the flu is very contagious. I mean, yeah. it's virulent. That's why everyone uh, okay. is scared of it. It seems like so. the people are getting this. Uh, my husband has it in Vancouver. This Ooh. cough that he said feels like a rake is raking in across chest? his chest yeah. when he coughs. So look, this is one of the things that are flooding into my office right now nonstop. Because people are saying, well, I had the flu two weeks ago. Why am I still coughing? Mm. Okay. I like to talk about it like a battle. Your immune system is fighting off the virus. It wins. Hooray. But the battlefield, your upper airway, is inflamed, it's irritated, it's damaged, and that takes time to heal. So you're no longer having the flu if you're having one of these post-viral coughs. Some simple things we can do in our everyday lives to fight the flu when we come back with Dr. Mike after this. So, Dr. Mike, these are things we can do to uh, boost the immune system every day, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, ideally, what we're going to find out throughout the segment is that Grandma had it right. There's a lot of stuff that she was saying that is very accurate. So, for example? We could start off right here, drinking some tea, staying hydrated. Not only is this important to keep your immune system healthy, but if you have a lot of mucus coming out and you're dehydrated, it's going to be sticky. It's not going to clear. Your nose is going to be stuffy. But by staying hydrated, you're going to feel better. Okay. And what's with the honeys? The honey is the only superfood I believe in. This is the superfood. What? Honey has antibacterial properties, antioxidant properties. And it controls cough, especially in kids. Just careful with the niece, Ryan, because below the age of one, you don't want to do honey. Okay. But it controls cough as well or better so than over the counter. So what do you do, a spoonful counter. a day? Two teaspoons at night before going True. to sleep. Really? Yeah, that's simple. Better than the stuff over the counter. Unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, and it tastes great. So here socks. Grandma was right. Keep the socks on. Why? Because when your body gets chilled, you're more likely to get sick, less immune protection. Should you sleep in socks? If you feel comfortable that way, sure. But... During the day, walking around on a cold floor, like in this studio right now, you should be wearing it's socks. It's very interesting. When my kids were babies, I would put cold, wet socks in the freezer to take down their fevers. Okay, well, that's a different thing. That's when they're already sick. It's very interesting. Yeah, but you want to yeah. stay warm. Then you got the humidifier here. At night, in the bedroom, this is clutch. Yeah. It keeps your mucous membranes moist. Yes. Which makes you feel better. But then also it decreases that post-nasal drip because of the lack of dryness. Dr. Mike, here's my question. When we're on the street corner and somebody coughs or sneezes, how long do I have to hold my breath for before, before it vanishes? Disappears. I have bad news. Hours. What do you mean out? Hours. What does that mean? It means Germs have hang time. What? Yes. So if someone walks into this room, yeah. sneezes, yes. walks out, doesn't cover, doesn't dab the right way. Yeah. We it's going to hang out here for All minutes right. Well, hours. thanks for the bad news, Dr. Yeah, Mike. Sorry. But great stuff. Appreciate it. Good seeing you. We'll be right back with the Inbox.